1976 Culver graduate. I actually came to visit in the spring, or sometime around in 1974, probably was early spring. And um, my dad said, you can come look at the horses, but my stepbrother was gonna come here. And I saw the horses, I saw the campus, I saw the students, and I said, well, I've gotta come here. My dad was somewhat surprised because he had no intention of having me come here. Uh, but I spent my junior and senior year here and got to fox hunt and be active in the varsity jumping team and just absolutely loved my time here at Culver. So I returned in the summer. Um, I taught in the summer of 1980 and Jeff Hansick was the director of horsemanship at that time. And he said, uh, I'd like you to return to teach winter school. Um, and so I was very excited for that opportunity. And so uh, in the school year 8081 was my first year. So the equestrian started informally in 1978 with Colonel uh, Townsley the sponsor and it was more back then of I understand about fox hunting so in 1980 it became more about choreographed rides and in 1981 uh, Dean Mars had suggested to Jeff Hansik okay you have a Lancer platoon an honor organization for the cadets that ride the troopers what about for the girls and so we became the very first honor organization school year 81-82 so my uh, time as coaching was 1980, I started in 1980 in the horsemanship department, but it was 81-82 school year that I started. So um, from 81 to 86, I was the head coach, so that was five years. And then I left to get some more education. When I came back in 93, I was head coach again till 2014. In the early days, in the 80s, we would have polo benefits to benefit the polo um, organization and so we went to the Chicago Armory and the Lancers and Equestrians performed there. That was a really big um, show to, to perform to that kind of a crowd. In 1985 we were invited to um, go to the Presidential Naga Parade along with the Black Horse Troop. Uh, not without some reservations from alumni who couldn't understand exactly why girls should go. Um, but kudos to the director of horsemanship and then to the superintendent um, who really pushed for girls to be allowed to be in the inaugural. Unfortunately, the 1985 inaugural, it was blizzard conditions, 30 below zero wind chill. So we didn't actually ride, but they had a big celebration at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland. Um, the first inaugural um, the, for the girls was 1989. I was not coach at the time. I was actually off at college, but I got to watch that on TV um, and I was super excited uh, for them that they were able to have that opportunity to ride. Uh, then the next inaugural, 1993, unfortunately, the Black Horse Driven Equestrians were not invited to that parade. So that was a very big disappointment for the kids because they had been practicing for many, many months for that parade. We've been ever since then. So I've had the blessings and good fortunes to be involved with eight presidential Nago parades um, and ridden in three and walked in two. And I've just absolutely enjoyed what that has meant for our school and for the equestrians and the Black Horse Troop. Oh, the World Equestrian Games has to be one of my all-time favorites because to perform in front of a crowd of horse enthusiasts, riders, Olympic caliber riders, and to take in the colors and then the flags from um, the FEI, the Federation Equestrian International, and to have our horses just spot on was just one of the most incredible moments um, of my life working with the uh, Equestrians and Black Horse Troop. Sarah Brown Pascal, class of 83, was a talented rider, one of the original members of the Equestrians, designed the pin that the Equestrians wear, and we wore that for a number of years. And about a year or so before she passed away from cancer, she created another logo that we currently use. Her father also created the Equestrians Award um, that's presented at the end of the school year. I'm really glad that her legacy lives on. I think the Equestrians offer a lot. First of all, it offers team bonding, learning to work with a variety of different people, but the real key component, of course, is the horse. 
Um, sometimes horses are very happy <laughs> to do the ride. Some are having to be encouraged or pushed into it a little bit. Um, but there is such a camaraderie when you get girls and horses together and they take such pride in the appearance of the horses when they perform in their own appearance and they really really try to work until they get the ride as perfect as they can. It takes hours and hours and hours. Um, the girls practice very deliberately on their pace, their distance, their interval to try to make the ride look easy when in reality it's a very difficult to get all the pieces together. Well, one of the wonderful things about the equestrians is it teaches uh, leadership, leadership and values, ethics. The equestrians have um, elected their captains for um, the team and the captains lead the team, work with the coaches and help guide the team. It's a real leadership opportunity for our girls at RIDE.